This is a love story between two narrowboats. Ever since Zero and Holly first met, they've been inseparable. They've had good times, they've had bad times, but they've always had each other. Until now. Because now, here's Zero, all on her own, and Holly is here, nearly seven miles away, in a place called Bugsworth Basin. Who would ever stand between them like this? This guy. Big old buster, busted up, broken up old bridge. But you can't blame this guy too much. He got busted up, broken up, when a big old lorry drove through him or something like that, so he's hurting himself. So for the time being, the boats are separate, kept apart by fate, and we're just muddling along. To be honest, we don't really mind that much. We're just kind of floating about anyway. It doesn't really make much difference to us where, where we float. Just fine. You don't often get traffic jams on the canals, but this morning there's quite a few boats waiting to go down up at the top of Marple Locks. So you've got a higher boat. Yeah, we're doing the Chester Started Ring. in Bunbury on Friday. Right. Did Friday night to Macclesfield. I got through the Swing Bridge about eight o'clock at night. Um, got to the pub. Right, okay. Well, best of luck. With the you can do it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go for a run now. Just thought I'd show you that whilst uh, that was all going on. At the moment, I'm trying to get out of the boat as soon as I can in the morning and go and do some exercise. And now for the worst exercise of all time. I think that's enough for today. And it started to really chuck it down. I'm gonna go back and get some breakfast. This is what our morning looks like. Got a kettle on the boil. William woke up this morning and said he wanted chips. So um, I'm making him chips. I'm just kind of parboiling them a little bit. I don't really know why. It's probably not a good idea to give him chips first thing in the morning, but it's what he asked for. And the, the dynamic in this house is I, I just do what anybody tells me to do. You're a naughty duck. Hooray! Hooray! Hooray, duck! How was your run this morning? Um, good. Stompy. Pa. <laughs> pa. <laughs> but I made up for it in squats. <laughs> I just got a notification that this parcel that I'm getting delivered to this pub on the corner there um, is being delivered in the next hour. So I'm going to go wait out there. Everyone, it's really busy around here. Everyone's going to school. It's a bit of a weird time to come out with your coffee, socks and sandals and a camera. This is where I'm expecting them to knock. I was about to give up then as well, and he turned up. Ooh. Just some quotes for you, William. Yours. We've entered the sleepwalking phase of the day. Letting William have a little bit of rest. It's on these little walks that we usually discuss big things in life, like whether or not we'd ever get a cat. Sometimes we do think as well about like what would it like to be to live near the sea. Another thing we talk about is hobbies, whether we should have them or not. <laughs> wow. 
I'm just off to go and check on Holly. <laughs> For some reason you can't help but worry. How's she getting on there? Is she all right? Does she miss us? Are all the other boats there being nice to her? probably didn't need to worry but it's still nice just to check over things and have a little look well that's it really I suppose I might just have a little coffee here and then head back dinner. We've got a little Waldorf salad. But no, he doesn't want that. Whiskey. A Waldorf salad. Just a simple Waldorf, really. Vic's actually really lucky with the um, things he naturally, naturally likes and doesn't like. He's like, I don't like white bread and pasta. I like chickpeas and legumes. <laughs> so that's an iron to live with. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, that looks really good. Yeah, it's not just Waldorf salad. Babies, give a little <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, dinner was delicious. It's a good salad. Good morning. I just wanted to update you guys on the cookbook. So it's with the printers now. It has been for the last few weeks and we get it next week. They actually just sent me a couple of videos from the like printing of it and it looks amazing. But it's taken a little bit longer than we thought, but all for good reasons. Like it's gone through so many proofs now and it's been stitch bound, which I think is what's taken the extra time. So hopefully we'll have that soon and be able to send them out. We've actually ordered like just a few more than have been pre-ordered so there are a few like hardback copies left if anybody wanted a copy and there's some digital copies coming to the online shop but thank you so much for your support and for like your patience with all this because I know it's a little bit later than we first said but hopefully it will be worth the wait. There's a market in town today. We've heard about this market quite a lot, but we've always been working on the cafe boat. So this is our first chance to experience it for ourselves. Because Holly's still stuck down in Hudsworth Basin. So we're giving ourselves the weekend off. Shall we see what they got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's great, thank you. Is that you. cash or card, mine on? Um, card if that's okay. Yeah, of course, there we go. Okay. just on our way to Holly because we've heard a rumour that the bridge is kind of fixed. I think a temporary fix just to let some boats through but if we're lucky we can get Holly back and get her reunited with Zero again finally. How excited. We haven't forgotten William, he's with his grandparents. Joe and I have just taken the opportunity to relive a little bit of the old times when it was uh, two of us on one boat. We're having our own love story. Hey, I've watched your vlog regular. Oh, That's dear. how I found out this, this bridge was down. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> 
when you see the old Reliant Robin out and about like that, you've got to get a shot of it. There's the broken bridge. I think they've obviously just done that temporary fix with that little bolt that they've just put through there. Hopefully that's all right. Now, as always, no reason to doubt the old girl, but time to cross our fingers as we start the engine. Keen as an absolute bean. Now for the slightly tricky part. Because I'm just sort of in this little finger bit of the basin, I've got to reverse out before I turn around and head back up towards zero. I'm not sure what, what this means. Everybody thinks of my driving skills. Everybody's come out to fend me off. <laughs> so if I did it from Disney to New Mill, you can do it from <laughs> This feels like such a blast from the past. Yeah. Just rolling about like this. Yes, the two of us. This is kind of what we based the whole idea of Holly on, that we like doing this. Yeah. It's nice being on Holly. It makes me realise how much I've missed this boat. How much I'm looking forward to getting it back with the fleet and us all being back together again. coffee on the go. Joe's just requested a water. It's all go down here. Go, 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 go. The best thing about this canal by far is the view that it goes through. It's pretty good. Especially I guess by canal standards where usually you know, like engineers kind of favoured a, a straighter route by cutting through the landscape, sort of making the canal in a little man-made valley. But not here. Here we kind of feel a bit suspended on the hillside, far up from the valley. It's really cool. Just coming up to the second swing bridge. Have you got the keys? Need a BW key for it. I you guys, not him. <laughs> he should know. Here it is, the bridge. You can sort of see the temporary fix. Now it's a couple of bolts <laughs> holding it on. I don't know, I'm sure it's not as sketchy as all that, but anyway, let's see what happens. Think about it too much.
pretty cool to have gone through all those bridges all easy like that so now there's nothing in between us and zero ah so nearly reunited We're just turning onto the macclesfield canal under bridge number one the very beginning of the macclesfield canal where hopefully we're going to reunite with zero <laughs> Do you want the mid right back? Yeah, okay. Uh, we nearly got to more up right next to zero, uh, but there's another boat there, so we're just sort of scooting a tiny bit further ahead. We've swapped crew. Joe's gone to say hello to William, and uh, Joe's dad, Mick's hopped on. It feels great having the two boats back together again. Really nice to have the boats within a kind of stone's throw of each other again. I sort of hadn't realised how much I'd missed that actually. Just riding back to zero. Mix on my bike, come on Joe's. <laughs> oh, that's nice isn't it? I'm, I'm happier than I even thought I'd be, or like relieved, and I just love having all the boats in one place. You've never left Holly um, for more than a night, no. probably, have you? You used to get really paranoid about it, so it's a miracle that you were, you were okay. It's a miracle I slept. <laughs> cool. Looks like you've had a great time in here. Dude. Maybe we'll say goodbye for this video. Mm. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to the patrons. Oh. Subscribe if you haven't already and you think this is the kind of thing you might like to see more of. <laughs> and see you next week. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>